beauties welcome to the channel and for those who are new to this channel why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another upload from me so today's wig review is a collaboration with main concept so they sent me out there invisible not braid turn up the style wig customizable glueless unit innovation maximum comfort and security which is true 13 by 7 lace and baby hairs a natural look now this is in the style rcbi 11 jessica 36 inches so i believe it's true to 36 inches with the exception of those sparse pieces in here so they call it bug is but it's burgundy yeah so let me go ahead and show you stock card you guys know how much i adore and love main concepts wigs especially their braided lace wigs i think they're phenomenal it can use some tweaking but I, for the most part i think they're really good now with that said first let me say thank you to main concept for even sending me the wig out i am grateful for that but i have to be honest so let's go with the pros first and then i'll hit you with the con it does come with this dope adjustable band that you can adjust it anywhere you need to which i think is perfect because not everybody's head is the same and not everyone could take the same um tension on their hair on their head so the braids are soft they're braided very well i do adore this color this colorway is gorgeous and did come with baby hairs i did trim it and lighten it up try to work this wig i come with the standard with a strap a plus an additional elastic band and you get your comb at the back and your two combs at the temple now this is a 13 by 7 parting space that is pretty much all the pros for this wig let's get into the cons what happened because this wig is a no for me now you guys know i can slay pretty much any wig this one gave me the big ko let's start off with the cap construction now they gave me the 13 by 7 parting space but they attached the hair in a way that i'm like what was the point of the of, of the 13 by 7 parting space because they literally sold the hair onto the cap you could see the stitching is a no-no the spacing is a definite no-no there's really no parting space or scalp in here they look like a traditional braid like if you was to go get your hair braided and you know how they put the little knot at the front which people, you know, they don't really do anymore, but when you, when you go to get hair braided, they put the little knot at the front and then they proceed to braid the cornrow. So literally they had that, was, that knot right here, I'll give you that close up in just a minute, and just literally sewed the hair onto the cap. Just braided the hair, pretty much like braiding a box braid and then stitching it as you would cornrow. The back, now we literally came up short. This hair came up literally short in the back. There's a lot of pieces like this that's really short in the back. I don't know if it's from yeah, I don't know where it's from. Honestly, I can't. I couldn't tell you. Because this is... I, I don't know. So, it's really short pieces in the back. So, that's that. And there's, there's... I think... Is there more over here? Yeah. Right here peeking through. Peekaboo. So, uh, short pieces. I don't know what that's about. It stops short, as you can see, at the air. So, it's not going all the way. Yeah. So, let me go ahead and give you the close-up of this hair. Also, I found the cap at the back to be very itchy from the hair fillers that's in the back. They're sparse, they're, they're hard, and they're sticking me. So as you can see, you can see the stitching. And maybe if this was a darker cap, like a 1B or 2 or a number 1, you it wouldn't be a problem, but you can, with the red, you can really see it's prominent with the threading. You can literally see the threading, and it there's really no parting space. It's super tight, unrealistic, yeah. Just a little confused. I honestly didn't know which way or how to put this cap on. But like I said, the color is gorgeous. Super gorgeous. So rich. This hair is so soft. So let me go ahead and give you that 360. So obviously the front. I'm not sure what the back looks like to so probably after I edit this video. So you guys let me know what you think about it. And let's hope it's not a disaster back there. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know what happened over that main concept with this concept wig, no pun intended, but I really do feel like this just was not a good one at the time. I guess they were coming up with so many braided wigs. They had so many ideas that they literally just 
put it to the press. They normally have some really, really, really good wigs. I love their wigs, absolutely love their wigs, especially the braided ones, like I said. But this one was just a no for me. The only option I could see um, rocking this is if you had like a hat on or a bonnet. This would be a great workout wig. So if you're gonna work out, you just take a hat, pop it on, boom, boom, boom. Nobody knows the difference, right? And I'm out the door. What? Cute. Can, I, can we get into the color though? Like Janet Jackson, Poetic Justice. Don't 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 mind that right there. Don't mind that. Right? I will rock this probably just like this on a day when I'm going into salon and you know I don't feel like doing that with my hair. Just throw this on with a hat. So this would be my hat. And yeah, I'm rocking that way. Also, before I get done with this, I want to say a huge thank you to people who've been coming out, showing me love at the salon, coming to get their hair done by me and my auntie. It's a family affair. For your love and support, thank you so much. Peace continue to show up and Come and get your hair slate. I want to say a huge thank you to the main concept for sending me out the hint to review. I hope you guys come up with another wig in the same colorway, in the same length, minus the little fillers at the back. This concept of the soft, long braids is a definite. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'll still leave a link to purchase this down in the description box below if you choose to purchase her. With that said, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please continue to follow me on my social media at Annette Beauty on Instagram, Visionary Beauties on Facebook. Please go ahead and join my group over there. And please continue to share so I can come to you with more content and things you would like to see. And as always, stay fabulous. Still fabulous. And be your own vision of beauty. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>